Good morning, Cape and Lopen High School. This is the Cape Report for Friday, November 19th. The lunch for today is Big Daddy's Bold Pizza, Baby Carrots in a Bag, and Broccoli. Justin has once again graced us with another concurrent confabulation. You've been waiting all week for his glorious dad jokes. Let's go to Justin. Today's confabulation is about bones. Have you ever had a childhood injury? Because I know I have. The first thought would be to go to the hospital, but they're way too expensive. So what's the simple solution? 2% milk. Not skim milk, almond milk, or soy milk, especially soy milk. Soy milk will actually deteriorate your bones. And if you drink soy milk, I don't like you, and you're a soy boy. So remember, if you polish off a gallon of 2% milk before you go to bed, your ribs will grow back overnight. Now back to you guys. Justin may be giving some dubious medical advice, but he's right. Drink your milk, kids. Now to our club updates with Dylan. French Club will be holding their next meeting on Monday, November 29th in Ms. Criswell's room. They will be starting their Christmas activities. Please let Ms. Criswell or a French Club officer know if you plan to attend. Back and better than ever, the Arts, Manga, and OCs Club have joined voices. Their next meeting will be Monday, November 29th in Ms. Christie's room, B202, until 4.30. Not sure if this is the right club for you? Come and see for yourself. Be sure to have a ride home lined up. After winter break, the club will meet on the first and third Monday of every month. Odyssey of the Mind is looking for new members. Please sign up near G109, which is near the gym, by the end of the day today. Club meetings are often held in the library, a place that has become more accessible due to the hard work of Ms. Supley, who has recently started a TikTok. Our Cape TV reporters interviewed her to find out more. I understood the assignment. So I know that kids are using TikTok all the time, so I'm trying to use it every day and talk to kids about um, what kind of new books we have in the library, what we're doing in the library. Like we have a book club today after school, so kids can come in and um, get a snack and talk about the books that we read for the month. Um, so we'll probably do a TikTok then. And then I'm also doing TikToks about like how to use the library, what we offer. Oh, but I. First kiss, the first night, the first song made you Instead of me like necessarily pushing into classes and talking to kids like 20 minutes or whatever, just to watch like a minute long TikTok or three minutes at the most, um, the kids will get information about the library and be able to just do it on a fun platform with goofy um, stuff that I do or like with music that they enjoy or whatever. It's just a different way of getting information. So you can find the TikTok at at CHHS Library or on my Instagram at LitBrarian. You can follow Ms. Supley at CHHS Library on TikTok. It's great to see CAPE's programs becoming more active on social media. A lot of clubs around CAPE have social media accounts, such as CAPE Theater's Instagram, where you can find more information about their show this weekend. Showings of their fall play puffs are ongoing. There is a show tonight at 7 p.m. and tomorrow night at 7 p.m. There is another showing on Sunday at 2 p.m. Tickets available at the door or online at our.show slash cape theater slash puffs. Concessions will also be available. Speaking of theater, they recently received use of their stage again after construction of the band room finished, finally allowing Cape's band to move back to their own space. Cape TV has interviewed our arts teachers about this massive renovation. We now have a lot more room. We're squeezing 80 to 100 people into a very tiny space in the past. Um, and an even bigger change is that the, we now have more cubic footage because they took down a wall and, and basically doubled the size of the room and then took out the drop ceiling and put an acoustic cloud down. So what that's going to do is it's going to make it a lot less uh, loud in there. And some of the volume in the past could have been damaging uh, to students and teachers' ears. And now we're thinking uh, this is going to be much better. It's going to sound better. It's going to be more comfortable. So far, the acoustics are very good. Um, very loud, very full, you know, you're not getting sound feedback from anywhere in the room. For the students, it's difficult being in the big, like, amphitheater style because uh, I can't really hear the kids at the very top. And because it's a singing class, it makes it rather difficult. Um, it's been really good. Yeah, we just, I love, I think my favorite part about it is the new practice rooms and also the loft. I just love having a separate place to practice. It feels like, almost like a college level, how they have practice rooms everywhere for you to work on stuff. I mean, I'm a little sad that it finally came my senior year after Mr. Burkhart was pushing for it for a couple years, but I'm happy that um, the grades younger than us and the kids coming up in middle school will be able to have that. 
totally worth it. But you know, it's been it's been kind of nuts going all over the building for different things, and the feeders used for a lot of stuff here. So we've got to be really flexible. But you know, it's small in comparison to the the big win of being able to have a, a great space for everybody to learn. I'm really thankful to be in a place where the district takes care of arts things like this. It's pretty awesome. Renovations aren't the only thing happening at Cape. Our health students recently helped organize a blood drive held right here in Cape's gym. Our reporters were on site to get the inside scoop. I'm Chase Monagle and this is Joe Nassai. Welcome to our new segment of the Cape TV. Let's go. I'm Joe. And this is Casey. And today we're at the blood drive. So tell me, Casey, what are you doing here? Um, so we're passing out like drinks and food to people that are blood drawn. And then we're also like observing the process of it. It's pretty cool. Jose, what made you make the decision to give some blood to charity today? Well, you know, it's for a good cause. And since I'm volunteering, why not just do it? Do you know if there's going to be another blood drive anytime soon? Because I'm, I'm trying to get my, uh, my blood sucked out of me. We should be expecting at least two to three more blood drives. I, uh, I gotta go get my blood drawn. I lost a salmon rock paper shoot, so it's gonna be fun, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh! So explain to me what's happening right now. Uh, well, they're getting my temperature. They're getting. Uh, they're basically reading my blood to make sure it's safe for. Uh, yeah, a mini physical for my blood to make sure it's safe so we can donate to people, hopefully save lives. So rumor around Cape is you're scared of needles, is that true? Uh, no, I'm not scared of nothing. I, I really hate needles, I hate, uh, I hate needles and snakes, anything that's really thin. I'm not scared of anything, at all, except for tall people like Dane. Scared <laughs> How do you feel right now? I'm feeling great, I'm feeling like a hero, honestly. I'm, I mean, I'm saving lives right here. I mean, I, I couldn't feel any better. I mean, you, you save lives with this. Like, uh, that kid, that kid, you gave blood too, I know you. Yeah, that kid right there, you sit, look at him, look at him. That's a hero, that's a hero. I, I highly recommend it to anybody who's trying to uh, save lives out there, just do it. I mean, it's not even that bad. Come on, I can, if, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Like, come on. Everyone can do it. Everyone can do it. Cheers. Chase might want to brush up on his rock, paper, scissors skills, but at least he got to give back to his community. If you want to be a hero too, more information about blood donation can be found at delmarvablood.org. That's been all for today. Remember, at 2.15 today, we will be having a field hockey send-off to cheer them on for their state championship game against Smyrna. Now to today's birthdays, and have, have a, a great, great Cape, Cape Day. day.